So last time I made a dummy battery for the camera that is providing this image and what I wanted to do is connect the USB cable to my PC, which is on the right, but not really visible because it's all black. Maybe if I turn the light on. So the PC, I connected the USB cable to it, the camera turned on halfway. And the issue is, this PC can't provide the amps that are needed to power the camera. I took a look at the motherboard scheme and MSI does have something called supercharger utility which boosts the amps of a USB socket to up to 3 times. So this would give me 1.5 amps, which is good, but I don't have these cables. So for now, I'll just use my phone charger. But for this video, what I want to show you, maybe you see it, but it's not visible at this point. Let me show you this white line throughout the whole monitor. Can I fix it? No idea. But I'll take the monitor apart and see if I can do anything about it. So this is the monitor in question. Samsung SyncMaster 2443. Each monitor is a bit different how you take it apart, but all of them require some tools. Now I have some of these automotive tools and I'll see if I can do the job with this. And you can probably see me. So this is the connector in question. That is connected to the panel in the front. Underneath is the power supply. Don't open it and touch it especially if this was recently powered on because it can electrocute you so what will do now well first i'll just take the screws out like that so i have a bit of a wiggle room because i have to take this out take this off Now what my idea was for this fix is to go over these contacts maybe just with my finger and see if this will make the line go away otherwise I'll maybe take soldering iron to heat the contacts up see if that fixes the issue if not I'll see if I can do something else so what I'll do is I'll flip the monitor over, connect this signal cable and connect this power cable, turn on the monitor and finally power it on. So I still have the lines as you can see and I'll just go over the ribbon connection, maybe over multiple of them, see if that fixes any issue. That doesn't seem to do anything. I can take the frame off like so. Not too much though. Because the buttons are connected with a wire. Let's see if I go over the panel with my finger. Maybe it was squeezed too much. That also doesn't seem to make any difference. Disconnect this ribbon cable to show you. So disconnect that, I can now take this cover off, kind of, not completely, because I would have to disconnect the LEDs. Now at this point I can't really take out the LEDs that connect to the main PCB. Now this one, this PCB you can touch, even if this was recently plugged in, this is at most 12 volts and it goes to the monitor and you have the monitor connection in the back. This part of the PCB you don't touch because it connects to the main voltage, in this case 220 volts, and you also have some capacitors which is what can electrocute you. And also as you can see this PCB is quite blackened which means that it gets a bit too hot for its design. The only thing that I can try to do at this point is to heat this up 
and I'll do that with the soldering iron. Now I'll just go over this contacts and hopefully that will do something. And if that does nothing, I could still use the monitor in a workshop. The white line is a bit annoying and at the end I could use the power supply, maybe also make a snow blind mod, which means that you take the monitor, make it transparent with a bunch of LEDs in the back and the video will still play or anything that you show, it will just be black and white, most likely. That is what you can make with the panel. You are also left with the lights and the plexiglass and that is what you can use to make fake windows. How will this do anything? I have absolutely no idea. I just have to make sure that I do this over this plastic piece and not over the pins. And I could easily bridge those tiny pins. And if I destroy this monitor, make it worse than it was, well, in that case, it was for science. Oops. We have some analog signal, but we still have the line, which is no good. So this monitor is a bust. So this project was a bust. But if you have any idea how this can be fixed, if it can be, let me know in the comments down below.